And I just, I wanted to first just, I guess, hear about that transition to LA and uh, like, what, what do you think has been some of the keys that have allowed you to just hit the ground running with them and, and just have all the success that you've had so far this year? Um, you know, I would say the main thing um, is really just being able to be back at right. Being back at right is I didn't, I kind of didn't realize how much it made a difference for me uh, till I got to play it again. Mm-hmm. And it just came back to me within a week of practice that I was like, the right side is where, I, where I'm meant to be. And um, like even in Pittsburgh, where they say my best years were, were when I got to play the right. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, switching to left, I never, I feel like I didn't do bad at left, but it just, being at right had, it just made sense for me to be at right. So like when they switched me to left, it just, it's something I had to learn totally new. Um, and I think a lot of old linemen knew that going from right to left, when you play right since high school, you know, you got, you got to do a lot of rewiring. Yeah. And like your body, like I was in legit, my uh, hip flexions and stuff felt different playing on the left stuff got tighter things that uh were never uh, a issue became issues because you know my body we just wasn't used to firing certain muscles so as soon as you switch to that left uh or being able to get back to that right i feel like that ma- that made a huge difference for me uh but yeah this one right here we'll, we'll watch this first one and this is you getting out on a on a toss, which has, you know, been one of my favorite things to watch from you guys this year. So, yeah, just like crack toss, right? And, you know, you taking a good angle out to the second level. Um, do you feel like, you know, you getting out in space, you know, that that's something that seems like you're really comfortable with doing and something you're, you know, pretty good at? Yeah, I feel like... Um... <clears throat> This outside zone is a little different because um, it's not a lot of reading. It's not a lot of, you know, um, thinking of who who you're going to. You know who you're going to, and now you're only thinking about the angles. So I I know that this guy is far, so I'm pretty much turning and running, and it kind of feels like more of a power play than a finesse play to me now, you know, because I get to run full speed. I'm barely helping the tackle. I'm putting the tackle. I'm just trying to put a little hand on the tackle, but yeah. I'm really going full speed. And, um, you know, I'm on the track. Now I'm, yeah. I can go as full hard as I can. And uh, I, I I think I like just the aspects of that. Yeah, I, I think I, it was Brian Allen who I talked to a couple years ago, the, the, one of the centers for the Rams. And he he mentioned, I think Austin Blythe too, a pr- prior center, he always talked about the Rams zone scheme and how – it, there's it, it's really an aggressive kind of physical zone type of scheme uh, as opposed to like trying to reach and, you know, cut off guys and, you know, get around guys. You're trying to find guys on an angle and just take them further than they want to go. Oftentimes, is that right? Yeah, that's really it's, I'm not trying to get my head across and like really yeah. get my body across. If I can throw them past, I'm going to throw them past. It's not a yeah. trying to really reach anybody. I'm I'm just trying to bully this guy enough to where he can't make the tackle yeah yeah i'd say you accomplished that there (laughs) Uh, tossing that dude off the ground and and another thing like you know how these the cross face stuff is really it's a benefit for d tackles but it's a it's also you know can be a detriment to them because if you're going sideways you have no power yeah yeah so uh the more I know that you're going sideways, the more control I have over the play. So it's like one of these things right here. You can't stop anymore going when you're going lateral like that. Right. There's no more stopping for you. I can run you to the side. And I feel like you being square here, you know, you capture him, you do a really good job there. You know, the bump, you know, is, is minimal. I feel like this is just all you being square and just been playing with power, a good power base right here. And these, um, you know, I didn't really, we never really ran mid zone, like talking about uh, in Pittsburgh, but I like how the mid zone play works, you know, just being able to have that cutback at all times. Mm. So some, you don't really have to stop somebody from going a certain way. 
Uh, I think that makes a block way easier than really, really having to muscle somebody out of there. Right. If they make the decision to try to cross face, just running them by is actually advantageous to you, you know, because that cutback will be way more wide open. 